Let's build out an export structure that matches our pipeline, including work that gets done from other departments. Let's create a 3D folder, a 2D folder, plates folder, and a renders folder. Under our 3D folder, we're going to be receiving renders from the 3D department. So let's create our render folder and also a shot folder that has the name of the shot as well as a version token. Then let's create some files with the shot name and version tokens the same way that gets rendered out of our 3D package. And the images will be coming from an external render, so we want that as our content. Under the 2D section, let's create a comps folder and a roto folder. We can take a look at the basic nuke shots with annotations template to get an understanding of how the general compositing structure should work. We want a nuke project file, a nuke write node, and annotations. The annotations need a nuke annotations file and a write node as they are stored in a precomp node. So let's copy this setup. In the nukes comps section, we will create nuke scripts. We can add a file with naming and set the contents to a nuke project file. We will also create the write node and the annotations. We are generating the name of the script and the write node so they won't need to be manually named by anyone else. And now let's do the same thing for Roto. So let's explore the nuke project file in our main comp. When we have multiple tasks in our template that will be writing images like transcoding or nuke write notes, they'll be a part of a list and we can add them to define the paths and codex settings for the nuke script. If we have more than one selected, they will be added to the script. If we have multiple selected, we can choose through the timeline write node option. And this will resolve the render path to where Hero expects to find these files once they're rendered. So we might be writing out multiple outputs, but only want Hero to look for a specific output. And if we don't check any, no write node will be created. In this case, we want our output from our main comp. So we're gonna add the write node associated with that. And that's the default. The read notes listing will show us all the items that can be read from our template, including copying media, audio, write nodes, and transcoding. We can add these paths to be included as read nodes in our nuke script. Lastly, we can do the same thing with annotations. In this case, we only want annotations associated with this shot if applicable. We can choose our read time method, and this will determine which node nuke gets for the read time, and any reformatting options. Collate and Connect will determine what track items will be in our nuke script from the track hierarchy. If we collate shot timings, clips that are in the tracks that are the same length will be in the nuke script. If we collate shot names, any track items that have the same name will be in the nuke script. If we have shots that are different lengths but have different names, and we want them to be in the same nuke script, we can rename the files to be included in the script. And we can use a combination of these and we can also choose to connect tracks. This will create a merge for each of the tracks with the matching blending style. We can also add additional nodes. If we choose shot then the additional nodes are added to the script for each shot in the export. If we choose track the additional nodes are added to the script for each track in the export. Sequence then the additional nodes are added to the script for the entire sequence. Unconnected, then the additional nodes are added to the script but not connected to anything. And none temporarily disables the current entry. We can select the tags that we want to use to filter which items receive the additional nodes. In the script area, we can copy and paste from a nuke node graph into the script area. And we can have additional entries. Next is the nuke write node. So from here, we can set up all of our output information that we saw earlier. Once we create a full template, we can tweak any entries by dragging and dropping. And once we're happy, we can run the export preset. I want to use the exclude tags that I set to Roto as it's only happening on some of the shots. Once the exporting is done, I'll run it again and this time only use the Roto tag.